Hello students, welcome to my class. Today in this lecture video of mine, I will teach you chemical changes and reactions. I will go according to your syllabus and try my level best to dilute the chapter so that it becomes very easy for you to understand the concept related to chemical reactions. And I am sure you will find it simple to remember the reactions and also the questions given in the exercise. So students, let us start with the chapter. First of all, we should know what is a chemical bond. Secondly, we should also know what is a chemical reaction. Actually, in a chemical reaction, uh, the particles collide and the collision can be by close contact or by the supply of energy in the form of maybe heat, light, electricity and so on. So to discuss in detail about the chapter, I just wanted to tell you children that last year you had studied physical changes and chemical changes and it was very clearly mentioned there that whenever there is a chemical change, some new substance is formed. And those substances were formed by a chemical reactions. And it is a process of make, breaking the chemical bonds of the reactants and making new bonds to form products. Now when we say chemical bond, it is the force that holds the atoms of a molecule together in a compound. Therefore, the molecule of a compound is held, a uh, force that holds the atoms in that molecule is known as the chemical bond. Now for a chemical reaction, for the chemical change to go on, there are certain conditions which are needed. As I said, sometimes close contact or by the supply of energy. There are seven points that I have noted down and I will be talking about them one by one. So these are sometimes mixing them together or making solution out of it or supplying heat energy in the presence of light on passing electricity under pressure or with the help of a catalyst. So there are different points and we will be discussing all of them. First one is mixing. So close contact when the compounds come in close contact with each other. I will give you one example here. Say lead nitrate solid form plus potassium iodide solid form <clears throat> sorry when they react will give you potassium nitrate solid form and lead iodide solid form so each one the reactant the products are all in solid forms they will react with each other when when they are mixed so this is made into powder they are grinded so that they come in close contact with each other and the reaction takes place here we should know that lead nitrate is white in color potassium iodide is also white in color but lead iodide is yellow in color Whenever there is a color, please don't forget to mention. And whenever there is a chemical reaction, as I have already mentioned, mentioned it, please see that it is balanced. The second condition is solution, when you put it in the aqueous form. And a very simple reaction here, which you have done it last year also, that is sodium chloride aqueous, means with water plus silver nitrate again aqueous that means in the solution form when they react will give you silver chloride precipitate and sodium nitrate aqueous and you all know which is the color it is white precipitate please give the sign of precipitate whenever there is a precipitation reaction 
This is a precipitation reaction. It comes under double decomposition about which I will discuss in my next video all different types of chemical reactions in detail. Here, let's not go about that. Let's just remember that this is solution form where sodium chloride, silver nitrate reacts to give you silver chloride and sodium nitrate and what do you see, what do you observe? There is white precipitate. The next condition is heat. Due to heat, when heat, when a particular compound is heated, there are a lot of changes which may occur or which may not occur. On this topic also, I will go into detail in my next video whenever I come to that chapter. But here, I have just taken one equation for you and uh, that is, suppose, copper carbonate and, of course, solid form. When it is heated in a dry test tube, you get copper oxide plus carbon dioxide gas. And you all know that copper oxide is what is the color? Black in color. Balanced equation. There are different compounds which produce chemical change on heating like lead nitrate. It produces lithage. It produces a brown, reddish brown color gas, nitrogen dioxide, oxygen. All these reactions we will do it again in my second video on this particular chapter which I will be uploading very soon. Children, if you have any doubt, please put it in the comment section so that I can clear out the doubts and it becomes easy for you. If you are forgetting, please... Practice the equations. If you feel you are forgetting, practice them and you will see that how perfect you become in writing the chemical equations. If you are following, please like, share and subscribe my channel. So, the let's come to the next topic. The next condition is light. Due to light, there are certain reactions which take place. One very common reaction which you all know is photosynthesis. But here I have taken a different equation that is... Hydrogen and chlorine in the presence of sunlight will give you HCl. This particular reaction takes place when it is put under sunlight. There are many other chemicals like silver nitrate. Silver nitrate will also decompose giving you silver, nitrogen dioxide and oxygen. So there are many compounds which will decompose in light. Some of them we will be discussing in my next video as I told just now. That here I am only talking about the conditions. The next condition is electricity. Water, when it is put under electricity, is passed through it, you get hydrogen and oxygen. But we all know that pure water will not allow electricity to pass through. So we have to acidulate it. We have to acidulate it. And we generally acidulate by dilute sulfuric acid. Few drops of sulfuric acid put into water when electricity is passed through it, hydrogen and oxygen will be released. Please check the balancing. Now the sixth condition is pressure. A very common reaction that is nitrogen and hydrogen, a reversible reaction will give you ammonia. This is a Haber's process where this reaction takes place in the presence of a catalyst iron, a promoter molybdenum under certain temperature, under certain pressure and it is exothermic. So too many conditions are here but we are not putting all of them because now we are talking about the pressure. The condition needed is pressure and for this reaction to take, take place, the pressure should be above 200 atmosphere. So you have to mention how much it is. And last but not the least, the seventh condition is catalyst. So here also as I told you just now that this particular reaction to produce ammonia, iron is required and iron is used as a positive catalyst here. Catalyst can be of two types, one positive and one negative. The positive catalyst will always try to increase the reaction rate the negative catalyst will always try to decrease the reaction rate. Now, if you was asked what is a catalyst, we have done it last year. Let me just revise it. It's a compound which will help 
the reaction to take place but itself will not participate in the reaction now one example let me give you say potassium chlorate in the presence of the catalyst mno2 which is black in color will give you potassium chloride and oxygen gas so these are some of the conditions which i have written it down for you close contact solution heat light electricity pressure and catalyst and these are some of the equations which i have written down for you these are not all that is there in your text please go through your text practice write the equations and see that you can answer them all there are certain uh points like writing solid wherever needed writing aqueous putting the sign of precipitate the color of the compound the putting the sign of the gas wherever needed the conditions required the temperature needed the name of the catalyst and so on should also be there in the chemical equation when you write the reaction so this was all about the conditions let's now take the next topic of this chapter as when we talk about the chemical changes and the reactions we know that there are certain characteristics also for the chemical reactions for example like uh if you can say about uh just now we did gas came out you know the color of the gas precipitates came out you know the color of the precipitates you know the color of the compounds there is a state change solid change gaseous state change and so on so now we will be talking about the characteristics of chemical reactions let me just repeat once that if you have any doubt please feel free to put it in the comment section and i am definitely going to clear them all so let's just see that um, how these changes occur and we have almost come to the end of the first part of this chapter the next part of the same chapter will be put in my next lecture video so please follow for the next one and uh, here let me see the first one is evolution of gas which i have put so we have done it in the in my previous part of this same video but i will be taking one different uh, example for you like suppose zinc plus sulfuric acid yes dilute you have to mention it children so zinc metal with dilute sulfuric acid will give you zinc sulfate plus hydrogen gas this comes out with an effervescence effervescence in the form of co2 also it can be but here it is hydrogen and we know that a colorless odorless gas which burns with a pop sound so hydrogen gas is released here so whenever we see effervescence we say a chemical reaction is taking place the second is change of color so we have seen many equations in the previous one also where change in color took place i have taken a different equation here iron plus copper sulfate yes aqueous and you all know the color what is it blue solution so when zinc reacts with copper sulfate zinc is above copper so it uh, sorry iron iron sorry iron so above copper it will give you a uh, ferrous sulfate plus copper and what is the color light green solution and copper metal what is the color it is red deposit so please mention the color when iron is added to copper sulfate which is blue in color gives you ferrous sulfate that is light green solution and copper so red deposit will be seen the third type is formation of precipitates we have just seen with sodium chloride silver chloride white precipitate was formed but here i have taken a different equation say ferrous sulfate this same ferrous sulfate 
and sodium hydroxide yes aqueous yes aqueous will give you ferrous hydroxide and sodium sulfate balance so we have seen that this precipitate which is ferrous hydroxide has a color and it is dirty green in color and this is a precipitate so formation of precipitate the next characteristics that is there is change of state here i have taken ammonia gaseous form hcl yes gas and together it gives a reversible reaction that is ammonium chloride which is in the solid state so we have seen with evolution of gas with change of color with formation of precipitate with change of state all the different types of reactions i have noted down here now to see it we know that a uh, silver nitrate was reacting with sodium chloride and precipitate was given you can use that equation here also here are some questions which i have noted down for you please do it yourself find out the answers if you have any doubt you ask me in the comment section or maybe i will be discussing these answers in the next video like why is molybdenum used in the manufacture of ammonia i have discussed in my video if you don't get the answer you can see this lecture video of mine again and you will get the answer what is a negative catalyst i have spoken about it but very little find out what it is find out the names next why is hydrogen peroxide kept in dark we have spoken about the Uh, about some of the conditions and there i have spoken about light where some of the compounds react in the presence of light so in respect to that just see if you can get the answer give a chemical reaction where platinum is used as a catalyst if you go through your text you will get the answer if you don't please ask me i will let you know name a colored gas and a colored metallic oxide i have discussed this also in this particular video so you can go through it once again and you i'm sure you will get the answer so now you know why silver nitrate is kept in a colored bottle let me tell you i have spoken about it just now but again i'm saying it will decompose in the presence of light i will come with the types of changes in the next video very soon So please like share and subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified about my upcoming videos